How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace and today we are checking out Rainbows Mistreated. So this is at Munich in 1977. From what I can tell, this is a cover of a Deep Purple song that was recorded in 1973. Richie Blackmore, who was in Deep Purple, took part in writing this song as well. And I do have the lineup as well. So we have Ronnie James Dio on vocals, Richie Blackmore on guitar, Cozy Powell on drums, Bob Daisley on bass, and David Stone on keyboard. And this version of the song, it looks like it was on two different albums. It was on the, the Live in Munich 1977 live album for Rainbow. And then it looks like it was also part of the onstage live album for Rainbow as well. So I, I, as far as I can tell, it was on two different albums for Rainbow. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I thought we could go ahead and check this one out. So I say we go ahead and get started. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free, tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me A Coffee link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Rainbow Mistreated. Here we go. Live on stage, recorded sometime before that by name eludes me. Don't know. Well, the song is called Mistreated, this one. Hey!
I, wow. I mean, it, it just, it sounds like very different compared to the Deep Purple songs that I've heard in the past and the Rainbow songs that I've reacted to so far. Like, I, I'm guessing it's in the perspective of Richie Blackmore since he's one of the ones who wrote it and he went through a breakup and he took it really hard. And looking over the lyrics, like we're talking about being like abused in this relationship and like, I, I guess reflecting on the fact that it just ended and still going through the grieving period of that relationship. And at least that's kind of where I think we are with the song. And I'm guessing it's from the perspective of Richie Blackmore since he's one of the ones who wrote it. Like I'm definitely hearing some like similarities to like Stevie Ray Vaughan's blues playing here. Just how Richie Blackmore was shredding the guitar was just awesome looking. Dio's vocals, phenomenal. Cozy Powell on the drums just going off, like that was so good. And the tempo with the song, it's not really fast at all, so you, you really feel it. And during the solo that Richie did, you could hear and feel the sadness that was there. Like the whole thing just got really quiet and it was just him playing and just the audience clapping and like the clapping got a little bit less and less, but some people were still clapping. And like the spotlight, it, all the lights went off and it was just on Richie, just playing like the, the blues. And like, I, you feel that, you really do. And it, it, it's so good. 
And that bass line that Bob Daisley is doing, it hits so hard. It, it's, it's so good. And it's really cool seeing David Stone's like keyboard setup. Like there's at least three different keyboards like surrounding him. And like the sound that he brought at the beginning of the song, like it really reminded me of Boston's foreplay long time. Like, it, like that intro, like going right into the song, like you just have like this, this really rich sound. It just rounds the entire performance together. Just, it, it, it's so good. It's so perfect. And yeah, I mean, I'm I'm loving this performance. It's it's awesome. I definitely want to check out the rest of it. So I say we go ahead and jump right back into it. So here we go. Thank you. 
just how everybody like went right back into the song and it got a little bit faster like it was that that was so good like it's just like it, it it completed the song it just it, it fits so well and it was it was definitely awesome like th th this whole thing was fantastic and there were a couple of things that i did notice like it looks like they had some kind of recording tape up on the stage back there and i i haven't really seen that like in, in live performances I, I don't know if that's how things are done normally or if that's just how things were done back then you know trying to get like a live album and trying to get the audio and line it up with all the video and stuff i i don't really know but i like it's really the first time i've really actually visually seen it so i thought that was like really cool to check out and yeah like throughout this performance dio and bob daisley like they looked like they were having just a blast up on stage and richie blackmore had like the more more of a serious look on his face like he was really getting into the groove and he was definitely feeling it during the solo portion of it especially when it like slowed down like he was definitely feeling that and david stone on keyboard i didn't realize there was a fourth like set of keys like I didn't, I didn't realize he was just surrounded by all these different sets like that that's so cool to see i also wonder like how different this version is compared to the deep purple version because both of them have richie blackmore so if y'all want to let me know like are they about the same are they like drastically different but yeah i would i would love to know like what what the what the big differences are between the two but yeah rainbow if y'all have any suggestions or anything I should know about, definitely drop those in the comments below. Would love to check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool. It's free. It tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. The release schedule. I always drop on the socials a couple days early, so if you would like a sneak peek as to what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to do that. If you're interested in supporting the channel, and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me a Coffee link. Each request is only $5 and it helps me out a bunch. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag mistreated. I think that's it for this reaction. I'll check you out in the next one. Bye, guys.